Solar storm warning. Experts are warning of a power outage or outages from massive solar flare that's incoming towards Earth. This is by Sean Martin from Express UK. A major solar storm is on its way and it could bring down radio communications. Oh, it's not all, only the radio communications. A lot of people uh, have commented to me that they have migraine headaches they feel terrible, they're achy, and they feel depressed. Something is wrong with their head. Uh, they feel that their frequency is out of whack. Well, uh, in my previous videos the past few days, you'll notice that scientists have made, uh, uh, have given proof. There's evidence of stress on health, uh, even your your organs, your blood pressure, uh, your mental condition. The whole um, body feels the change of electromagnetism from the solar flares affecting Earth's electromagnetic um, waves. So this, and they, it's not only humans that feel it. Uh, the solar flares also have uh, a very great effect on the Earth, on the geology, on. Uh, volcanic eruptions on earthquakes and animals of course not only humans and also we've made a connection that is the scientists have made a connection between humans and earth in that our pulses are somehow interconnected our frequencies are interconnected and the other thing that they found this is all according to their evidence from their findings that our mentality, our frame of mind, our positive attitude, our prayers can affect the sun in turn. Our, our thoughts and prayers. Oh, you know what I just remembered? What Joshua did, Joshua who took the leadership of the tribes of Israel after the exodus from Egypt, Joshua talked to the sun and the moon so that he could be able to uh, protect Israel during a battle. And he told the sun to stay where it was, he told the moon to stay where it was. He was actually conversing with the sun and the moon. Now he knew, they knew that they could do that. Why have we forgotten that we could do that? We can converse, we can ask, we can talk, we can pray to the earth, the sun, the moon, the plants, the animals, and, but we don't. Uh, I guess we've been conditioned that we're too little and we can't do that. That's not so. We can do that. We can ask the sun to please become gentle and tender towards us. Uh, so now, this is a solar storm. It has to do with, of course, our uh, modern way of life, our electrical appliances. But it also has to do with us. Researchers have noted a huge solar flare which was released from the sun, spewing cosmic radiation into space. Earth is in line with the solar flare and our planet is set to be hammered by the solar storm. Saturday, March 23rd, the storm has been classed as a G2, which can cause a brownout for radio frequencies, making radio communications much more difficult and can also cause power outages in high latitude areas. Northern Lights, which are usually restricted to the Arctic Circle, and of course we have the Southern Lights in the Antarctic, Northern Lights may also be seen as far south as New York and Scotland. There you go, New York. Northern Lights will be coming all the way down to you. Cosmic forecasting site Space Weather said NOAA, N-O-A-A, the NOAA forecasters say that moderate G2 class geomagnetic storms are possible March 23rd when a coronal mass ejection, that's a solar flare, starburst, as some people call it, CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. The solar storm could, uh, cloud was hurled in our direction by the explosion in the magnetic canopy of the sun, sunspot AR 2736 during G2 class storms Auroras may be seen in northern tier U.S. states as far south as New York and Idaho. 
I have once seen uh, uh, Northern Lights as far down as uh, Montreal when I was living in Montreal. It was a Friday evening, very late. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was, it was like a beautiful, shimmering, uh, a colorful rainbow all over the sky, and it seemed so low over us, and very. And it was, of course, soundless. To see this over you, soundless, it's just amazing. It was a winter night. Now, usually these storms are not dangerous and most commonly result in uh, northern or southern lights, but sometimes the stream of particles can be so huge that it can cause Earth's atmosphere to expand as they heat the outer atmosphere of our planet. And as the atmosphere expands, satellite signals make it much more difficult to reach the ground, potentially leading to a lack of GPS navigation, mobile phone signals, and satellite TV. In addition, a surge of particles can lead to high currents in the magnetosphere, which can lead to higher than normal electricity and power lines, and this would result in electrical transformers and power station blowouts and a loss of power, just like we saw the transformer blowout in uh, New York City, uh, Long Island City, in uh, December of last year. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.